Greetings, friend. Timberlake here from Smart Hobbies. This is a classic Sudoku by Tall Cat. It's called Sparky. I noticed in the CTC Discord server that Tall Cat said he was starting to work on some classic Sudokus. Hadn't really set those before. Uh, got excited. I heard his name associated with those lockout lines that were featured on Cracking the Cryptic earlier. Uh, in this particular puzzle, he said he wanted to pay homage to Jovial for this, and some people solved it. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to try this out. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And with that, it's solving time. So don't know how hard it is. Uh, I am going to show all the candidates. Just kind of assume that it's going to be a little bit harder than a normal puzzle to solve. But I expect good things from it. All right, so looking across, I'm going to look for places and areas where there are some restrictions. You know, where there's not that many candidates that can be for a particular part of the puzzle. And what I'm seeing is uh, I don't see any naked singles. I don't see any pairs. Okay, I do have a uh, kind of a hidden quad, probably the best way to describe this. Three, six, seven, nine, three, six, seven, nine, three, six, seven, nine. So that means that that can't be a nine, and that can't be a, a three or a nine. Okay, and again, when I show all the candidates, Sometimes it's easier to see that and then, you know, take away instead of finding like the hidden pair of the one, two. Uh, that still works. You know, it's still a logical way to, to help solve this puzzle. And so the same kind of thing, you look across here, I mean, I'll highlight again. Three, six, eight, nine. So we know that can't be a three or a nine. And this can't be uh, three, six, eight, nine. So we got another one, two. Interesting. So those are both one, two pairs, one, two pairs. Um, so what I know right off the bat is this is a remote pair. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, so how does that work? Well, basically, a remote pair, if you have, it needs an even amount. So if you have two, that's just a naked pair. But if you have four, six, eight, ten, uh, what you're saying is that you know, this is a two or it's a one, and then an even amount. So this is a two, that would be a one, that's a two, that's a one. And so you have a two here, I'll mark that, and you'd have a one here. So neither any place these both can see, you can't have uh, a one or a two. And vice versa, if you start with a one here, two, one, two, you still can't have a one or a two right here because you're, one of these has to be a one and one of these has to be a two. So I know right now that that can not be a one or a two, that is a five. So remote pair, just happened to pull that out uh, right away. I didn't even, uh, hadn't really been looking for any of the other uh, types of strategies. But that one, that one really jumped out at me. Okay. So five and five, now I know that that can be a five. And I wonder, you know, how far this will let us go with the, with the puzzle. Uh, we, we shall see. I am looking now. Let's see here, threes, fives, sixes, eight. Now I'm just going to kind of scan across, see if there's anything else I may have missed. The sixes are limited right here, so that can't be a six. It's like the sixes are across the top. Okay. Fives, eight, seven, eight, nine. All right. I'm kind of just scanning across the rows right now, see what else I can pull out from that. Uh, I usually don't find something like a remote pair right off the bat. That was kind of fun to be able to see that. Okay. Fours, eights, nines. One, two, threes, fours, seven. All right. I uh, might be missing something here. So I'll just kind of go over the candidates and see what else we have. So we do have a uh, index wing. So here's your X wing, and here's your. Fin, right? So either the fin is true, and that can't be a one, or the fin is false, and you have an X-wing, where one of these two spots would have to be a one. So either way, that can't be a one. All right. Uh, anything else I can see? And yeah, I'm looking real quick. Uh, no. Nope, nothing else there. Let's go with the twos. Oh, in single two. Missed that. I usually try to get those. And then you have an actual uh, X-wing right now. 
however you want to look at it. I'll just do it as an X-wing. So an X-wing right here. So we got, you know, either that's a two, and this is a two, or this is a two and that's a two. Uh, but basically the twos are limited to these two uh, rows, these two columns. So this cannot be a two right there. Bye bye two. And we're starting to work our way down in this puzzle. Let's go to threes. Uh, I don't see any elimination I can make with the threes at this time. Let's go to the fours. All right, so you have a pointing pair of fours coming down this way, so those can't be fours. All right, on to the fives. Uh, this is naked, or excuse me, hidden single five. I just missed that, and which makes this a five. That'll be a five, and this will be a five, and this will be a five. And I wonder if I saw that five and this five, if I could have kept on going, I should have looked right here. I bet I could have kept on solving fives. But now I see a three nine three nine. So that has to be six. That has to be an eight. One two one two. This has to be a nine. Uh, one three one three. So no ones or threes in the rest of this block. So that's a four. That's a two. That's a seven. That's a six. Uh, I feel like we've nine one eight one two. I feel like we've kind of taken the uh, unrolled the uh, the puzzle here. Eight one four three. You know what? Uh, I think we I think we cracked the puzzle. Cool. You know the idea of being able to look and kind of see those remote pairs right off the get go. Pretty cool. Um, I also liked you know the Venice. I probably should have kept on going cross hatching. That would have maybe get to an even quicker solve. But let me know what you thought in the comments below. Did you know how did you solve this? And you know were you able to find the remote pair? Uh, did you do a different technique? I'd love to hear about the comments. Thank you so much. Uh, Tall Cat for giving me permission to feature puzzles on the channel. I have a feeling there'll be more of your classics that'll be on uh, this channel. I'm looking forward to more of those. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Smart Hobby so you don't miss any new content. I've uh, mentioned it before, but I am looking to do some collaborations, not just doing puzzles from other setters, but actually have other setters and other YouTube creators uh, do videos from my channel. And likewise, you might see me on someone else's channel or working together. Uh, Please check out these other videos from my channel while you're waiting for the next new video. Thank you so much for watching.